Singapore Tourism Board has developed a destination sustainability strategy and roadmap for the tourism sector in line with the Singapore Green Plan 2030, with a focus on environmental sustainability and sustainable management. World Travel and Tourism Council released a report, uh, Destinations 2030, Global Cities Readiness for Sustainable Growth Report. And in that, there were eight pillars, 75 indicators, eight pillars. And in the business, urban readiness and safety and security pillars, Singapore came among the top. In fact, for business and readiness, Singapore was the top country for sustainable growth. Therefore, we are very, very calibrated and deliberate about our sustainable efforts. Singapore was previously a garden city, but over the years we are a city in a garden, where close to more than 50% of the city is actually a garden city. So for us it's very important that we do practice sustainable practices. There have been a lot of efforts in the mice space as well, a lot of the stakeholders, whether it's Marina Bay Sands, Resorts World Sentosa, Gardens by the Bay, all of them have implemented a lot of sustainable, eco-friendly practices. And that is set to grow. I do believe the Indian corporates especially, a lot of them have been asking themselves how are they going to have meaningful, socially responsible travel and I think that's going to be a very positive signal to destinations planning meetings and incentive groups and Singapore included, we are looking at how do we make sustainable, sustainable friendly or sustainable eco-friendly uh, travel possible. Post-COVID, I think the general sense is that travel is um, going to be a, a privilege, uh, not so much uh, an expected uh, you know, fact of business. And so for Singaporean uh, MICE venues, uh, we have been very conscious about tapping into this as an opportunity and particularly using tech as an opportunity.